Hello guys, this is Abhinindra from CG Artist Academy and today I am back with a new tutorial about how to create a normal map with the help of Photoshop and Undo. So normal maps plays a very important part in our CG projects. So let's start how to create normal maps. So first we need to open Undo. Here is the icon and I am going to double click on that run and it will automatically start Photoshop with it okay so it's loaded now you can see over here this will shows the um, material or the normal map when it finished okay so first I am going to place it over here and this one is here and now I am going to open my texture or image for which I am going to create a normal map so control O to open I am in my texture gal material gallery so I am going to take okay this one okay open it this is my texture okay so I am going to create a normal map for this so first of all unlock this by double clicking on this layer now and you will recognize this layer automatically you can see layer 0 just like this so over here we have many options so don't be confused just click on first click on preset we have here lots of options like flat cliff mega cliff smooth stones okay so the one i am looking for here is soft spectrum click on that and select this active doc create photo normal for ps document when you click on this it will create a normal map of your selected layer okay so click on that so now you can see it started and it will take some time to create that normal map for you so wait for it okay it's doing a lot of things i don't know what is this but uh, it will finally create a normal map for you so I am waiting for that so now the process is completed and you can see my normal map is almost ready and on this cube you can see the bumpness of the normal map like here see so if you like the uh, normal map or settings say you can save it and using on your any 3d application but if you are not satisfied, satisfied satisfied with the look the default look so you have many options over here so you have uh, large bombs small tiny medium many so just for the instance i can decrease the large bombs so you can see the uh, effect on here like around this maybe small one a bit not like this okay now if you are satisfied with the final normal map exit and do and select all the layers and press control E to merge and control shift S to save as a normal map select image I am gonna rename it to normal and save okay save it 
and now I can use it on any 3D application. So I am going to open Blender. Now Blender is open now. So I am going to delete this default cube and create a new plane scale for S plus S to scale. Okay. And uh, and I'm going to apply the texture I just created with a normal map. So to apply this, first of all, you need to go to cycles, go to material, create new, and press on image texture. Yes, over here, open and go to your texture library. And for my scene, this is the texture I created. Okay, so go to shading tab, node editor. Okay, I am this is my node setup. So I'm going to see what it's looking now go to texture mode okay it's not showing anything because I haven't added the UV so I'm going to UV this select go to UV select tab A to select all the vertices open the texture you want to apply on this so go to textures my texture is here open and go to over here in mesh uv and unwrap uv you can see here my uv is mapped on this image texture so i'm going to cover it okay GY okay so I don't need this UV tab anymore okay now I can see my texture on my viewport yes you can see over here see and okay something like that now I'm going to add my bump or I can say normal map so first create a new image texture image texture then go to your vectors normal map select image texture open open your normal map which you have created like this you can see here okay now connect this image texture to its color value and this normal map normal to its displacement okay so your node setup is ready and uh, just uh, to look how it looking now press shift to z to see you can see the texture is applied to our mesh Okay, go to your textures. So, this is it. I hope you find this tutorial helpful, and I will see you next time. And if you like my tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, CG Artist Academy. I'll be back soon. Goodbye.